Hello everybody and welcome and happy Saturday Welcome to the house Yes, I know y'all want to come over and visit with me And that's why I will be here with you all all weekend Cranking them out, okay Because Nini definitely gave us something to talk about for the next couple of years <laughs> We'll start with months, but it could go into years Hey y'all, that's my little avatar That's on my other channel And I think I'm going to put it on this channel and change my banner But that's what I look like on the other channel Uh, what do you call it? Emanated um, views of me Okay, and if y'all really wanted to see me Y'all could actually go to my community tab Where I started my very first intro video And you can meet me there I haven't got, I haven't changed that much Okay, I'm just saying Well, my hair has grown out a little more Because I'm uh, dreading locking my hair And I gained 10 pounds when I was sick with COVID But I'm pretty much the same person, okay But you know, I gotta be messy I gotta be messy with y'all And we back on we taking our flight uh, 38,000 feet or less. First class seating, premier. Because we got to talk about Nene and her comings and goings with Kim Zosiak and why Kim is not being sued. Okay, because I'm kind of confused. So we're going to be stuck in Street Missville. Okay, that's the town, that's the city, that's the state we're going to reside in for the next couple of uh, months. Okay. So get your uh get in your seat, relax your butt, and let's talk, let's spill some tea to with one another. But hey can't you see the love in the air with her and Kim Zosiak? All right, they were all kikis, all ha ha's. You know, they had their little tiff and, and, and tad banner back and forth here and there. You know, that's what we expected. That's what we knew we were going to get on this Ratchet TV show. Okay? We can't ask for nothing more, nothing less. And Nene and Kim both served it up to us. So I can kind of see why they both maybe were uh, paid around the same pay. Or they both were iconic in their statuses with starting the Real Housewives, okay? Because technically they should have had more white folks on this show. Where it could be kind of blended or... or uh, we got evened out, but she was the solo train running with the black women, okay? And she was serving. Yes, you are. Kim ain't no bad looking woman. She is very easy on the eyes. So, hey, if only we could have had a couple of more, you know what I'm saying? But, um, Kim made it do what it do the time that she was on the season or seasons of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she was just that damn good. Or not, she got her own spinoff show to get rid of being around black people all the time. Now, was she racist? I don't really think so. She was, cause she had a little ghetto in her. She had a little black, looked like it was in her, cause she was looking and and, and trying to showcase as a black woman, as far as the body is concerned. She had to pump up her lips, pump up her breasts, pump up her butt. Hey, when you got the money, you can do these things. But at the time, she was messing with a married man. I just put that clip in there, cause I thought it was so cute. You remember when Sheree Whitfield was trying to twist or rearrange Kim's Ozzy at wig and then they became friends going on in the season I don't understand that make it make sense okay and that is my new channel I want y'all to go over there I think I'm at 39 or 40 viewers and I know I got more family members that like to come visit me so y'all need to hightail it on over there now and stop acting up stop clowning okay get off your bitch butts and go and enroll subscribe share like my videos let's blow up that channel over there okay I'm going over there this weekend I'm going to crank out about 10 videos okay throw them all on there y'all can partake have way do what you want to do we're going over there then you know back because i was on a tangent i'm fussing at my family because y'all know y'all ain't at right y'all want to show up without bringing stuff to the party but i have everything for you so i need y'all to go on over there okay all right i'm out of my feelings but going back to the video that was roach gate you know when built her mediterranean mansion over there that she had to unload because you know she couldn't afford it no more that's a real tea that's true tea um her daughter i don't know what's her name brielle or was that the youngest one hell i can't remember but you know the oldest daughter her that kind of mini me mini me her mom you know that's her mini me but uh y'all get in the comments cause i forget kim's daughter's names i know one of them was brielle Shit, I can't remember the name. Let me Google real fast. But anyway, she was over there. Because I think 
uh, her daughter and Brent were kind of good friends at the time of going to the same high school. I, I don't know, but I know they were kind of close. But they had a maid or a nanny or a caregiver named Sweetie Hughes. Y'all remember Sweetie? Because Nene was just making every point a turn to say Ken was misusing or abusing that uh, young girl. But I'm like, no, nah, not really. She was just trying to make some money and, and living a high life with uh, vicariously through Kim. I don't think that was a slap in the face. You know, she knew what she was doing. And she was even arguing with Nene about that's not how Kim treat her. It may seem that way, but that's not how it goes. But when Cor came in the picture, he at least her idea anyway. So he might have been a slight tip for tat races. I don't know. Okay? Because he don't even like his own family and he don't like Kim's family. So go figure. Alright? The man just loved himself some Kim and Kim loved herself some Cor. But when they were together, when they were taping, trying to go somewhere, I don't know because it's too far back. You remember uh, Nene wanted to choke Kim out on that bus? <laughs> she wanted to choke the living shit out of Kim. Zosie. And Kim was scared. She had that like fright face on her like, I know Lord, if she touched me, please don't let to kill me because I'm going to sue her ass out for all she got what little she do have okay yes because Nene at the time when she was messing with Greg they were going through some scamming situation I don't know how far it really went or how far it did go but they were running they was like living in people's houses and one supposed to be there allegedly or like squatters or something but you know I guess they worked it all out wasn't no really harm done because she began to still stay on um so I was right her name is Brielle um what's her name Kim's very first child um uh, yeah but uh yep yeah, Bri, Bri was over there um you know they invited uh Kim and her family to come to the house and whatnot you know and see that was saying Greg was the very connoisseur man of excellence you know what I'm saying he wanted everybody he didn't care what color you was what creed or culture he wanted everybody to get along you know what I'm saying but he's no longer in the picture and it is what it is uh but yeah Cor came in and took everything you know Kim didn't have big papa no more she had close her legs to marry men as Nene would say but now she's opening up us and spreading it wide for a married man and God knows what they do when they're alone but anyway this is what it is because I think he still got a little sugar in his tank meaning Ioni but that's all allegedly and that's my perspective okay so don't take it hard don't take it too hard it's just what he gives me especially when he has them fur slippers on but anyway yes that's uh, Kim's man been her man you know he's a uh, ex NFL Atlanta Falcons player they didn't want him no more I don't know if they just didn't want him or he was injured and they couldn't it's something that was going to impair him from being the better person he needed to be out on that field so they cut his contract all right but now it seems like Nene is going out the Bravo and all the executives and she's including Andy Cohen and uh, Kim but she's not suing Kim I don't know like, maybe she's not suing Kim right now but maybe she will in the future who knows depending on how it turns but I'm like Kim ain't got shit she was over there just recently trying to sell her clothes or something online eBay and I'm like well, you can't get blood from a turnip or a stone you can't get no blood because she's pretty much depleted but she's making it do what it do with all that uh all the big family she got over there that she could start her own baseball team or football team okay i'm just saying but anyway these are the good times the good times baby when both women were doing it and making it do what they were doing and kim was you know doing her thing and nene was pretty much trying to be kim emulate her in all its essence i mean to me she has always wanted to be kim i don't know what the fascination was with trying to be kim's friend trying to give her advice trying to assimilate her into the black culture and being accepted with you know the friends she had made on the show or the cast members she was trying to give uh kim a way to sit in and fit in and you know kim was just doing herself she didn't give a shit she didn't care about her mama daddy grandma my aunt uncle then she, you know she just got married and life was just been pure heaven for her she ain't looked at nene ain't really tried to be around nene she was just trying to live her life her best life okay Cause like i said she don't even like her own mama so what you think she cared a little bit about nene okay 
Oh, but of course, I had to throw that in there for efficacy's sake. So that nanny is an aggressor. She attacked the cameraman. All right. Then she's going to come out recently saying, you know, she was blacklisted, blackballed, and people were, you know, doing everything to her. But then when we were around in that Roachgate situation, you know, nanny was on there trying to cuss out baby Brielle and Kim and the whole family in the same damn sentence. Okay, pretty much. You know, she was trying to say Kim and her daughter was uncouth. They, you know, they didn't, they weren't coming from good stock and she was just blasting them on social media but you know she also blasted her cast members too especially kenya moore okay twirl twirl y'all remember okay and uh, i'll give y'all a little history lesson for those who haven't been really watching the show and then you know we had that thing with candy birds for trying to help kim's over there with tartar with the party and then kim gonna turn on her like can ain't did shit for her and then can gonna go over there and try to sue her which is like really 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 I'm, she went and got Phaedra to represent her. Now, you know, Bobby Brown had her. And look how many times he lost every damn case. And I'm telling y'all, once again, go on over there to my channel now. We got a link provided on this video in my community tab. And I think my daughter posted it somewhere in the descriptions when it comes to reviewing my videos and all that kind of stuff. You can find it. I know my family is smart as hell, okay, because they definitely are opinionated as hell. So, go find me on that other show and blow up, okay, please, please. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. But anyway, it is what it is, okay. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do anyway, all right. But y'all still show up at the house. It don't matter. That channel going to grow regardless, all right. But anyway, uh, yeah. <sighs> I don't know where Nene gets the guts and the uh, gumption to go up against a big organization, but hey. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Those who want to take her case will take her case. Okay, will it drain Nene's bank account? Yes, it will. Oh, will it may cause her bankruptcy? It surely might will. Okay, but yeah, because she don't have that house no more. Okay, she don't. She couldn't afford it. Instead of her coming out saying it ain't none of y'all damn business, but no, I can't afford this shit on my own. Okay, so I had to let it go. That was a true G move. She could have played it like that. And nobody would have said anything. They were like, okay, she spoke in her own truth. She said what it was. We're going to move on. Okay. But it's when you don't say what you need to say. And you leave loopholes where people can come in and tell you up from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Okay. I'm just saying. But right now. Okay. I got to put in another video. Because I forgot to put it in this clip of this video. Nini is in Las Vegas now. And I don't know if it's true or not. I was just over there minding my business, being nosy as hell. Like y'all know I always am. And I'm messy. You know I'm messy. But I come with some truth and I come with some golden nuggets for you to take with you. But I was on Nayonis page and he had like a little story thing going on. And he done captured that them folks, him and Nene, are over there in Las Vegas. I'm like, okay, Nene, you don't prove my point. You're running. You're running from the bomb that you set off here. Um well a few weeks a few days ago the bomb that you were suing in and everybody that you could attach to your legal documentation that you filed or your uh attorneys filed on your behalf and you hightailed it to africa then you swung around hit paris france and now your itinerary is looped on las vegas nevada now what the hell are you doing over there in that hot ass weather in las vegas i know you ain't seven 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 let's go because silk sun ain't down now okay they ain't down now baby for you to catch one of their shows all right Put the CD in now and play and put your ass back up in Atlanta. Okay, because just like, I'm pretty sure they're going to recognize you in Las Vegas. They probably didn't give a shit. They probably recognize you in Paris, France, but they like, nah, you know, she just one of them little people. She's a real little reality star. She ain't no real, you know, uh, movie goer, actor, or, you know, actress out there. We, we don't give a shit. We probably more important to her because we're Parisian people. You know what I'm saying? We talk two different languages. Okay. But anyway. They're going to know your ass in Las Vegas. And you're going to have some people come out and try to question you. Unless you got real tight uh, security. Okay. That's going to keep them 10 feet or more away from you and not own it. I don't know how you getting down. Because it seems like you're paying everybody. You're paying for trips. You're paying for jewelry. You're paying for clothes. Okay. This itch got me paying for trips. Paying for rent. Diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist. But we talking about Nayona, okay? Yeah, she's doing all this paying around when you need to be saving it, baby. But therapy, therapy, therapy. Did I say therapy? Yes, because you're going to need it, okay? You're going to need it, you're going to need it, you're going to need it. Because like I said, the thing you have embarked on, and it is a thing. 
Child, please. It could go either way. It could go either way. Hey, who is calling me? Okay, I'll be down there in a few minutes. Yeah. Mm, that's my mom. She's saying it's time for breakfast. So I'm like a little child. I got to go. <laughs> but y'all enjoy this video now because I made it uh, equally for you all and myself. Because I just still can't believe. Now this is chapter four. This is part four. And we got about four more parts to go. So y'all hang tight with me because I just don't understand. <laughs> I need her to be putting Kim Zodiac. Brielle had a whole damn family in her lawsuit as well. <laughs> so she, I need Santa Claus up in there too. She need to tell me why Santa Claus let this naughty and nice list. It just seemed like the naughty is winning, and and, and and you trying to be nice and you ain't winning any. So who else you gonna call up in now? Barack Obama, past uh, president. What, what what who else you hung around with? You gonna go get oh let me see. Cause I saw you being photographed when you were in Hollywood. Uh, Angela Bassett. I saw her in the background one time in one of those uh, things you were being a part of or some uh, charity, charity bazaar you were uh, asked to come to. Hell, I don't know, you know, because I'm not with the who's who. I'm not sh uh, shaking and, and baking up there with Oprah and everybody else. Okay, of the elite status. Girl, girl, child. You're doing too much. You're doing too much and you're giving me too much commentary to come over here and talk about your behind. Okay? But it is what it is. It's Saturday. We all having fun. We all relaxing. We trying to keep up, catch up on our chores. So just plug me on, you know, on the station. Put it, put me, highlight me in your, uh, what do you call it? When you can watch it on your TV. You can hook me up like that. Hook me up in your, your ears or whatever. You got your iPods going on. And let's make it do what it do. Because this weekend is pretty much going to be all about Nene. And y'all always said I talked about Porsche all the time. Porsche, 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 Porsche. Can you talk about somebody else? Well, yeah. Hey, look it, look it, look it. Who comes cooking? We got Nene. I'm going to pretty much talk about until I just get tired. And when I get some rest, I'm going to come back and talk about it. Now, if anybody else on the Housewives franchise, or they live in Atlanta. And I know about them and whatever. And I feel like I want to have a conversation. They, they could be on the block as well. They could be on the block. But right now, we, I really think it's going to be about Nene for a while. Because I understand she running. Now, she one of those itches that's supposed to be standing in her own true don't let nobody push or run over her and she got to get the comeback where the hell are you nene you're flying everywhere but where you need to be here in prime time sitting up here facing the music being in the fire that you created because your ass don't went from the fire pan to the definite fire okay you up there burning up ashes are seeking everywhere like you almost got cremated or something okay but they brought you back to life put you in your body and they want you to stand for the uh drama that you cause okay the drama that you cause and we have to have to sit here and wonder what's next what's next but right now, you in Las Vegas. I guess you're going to gamble your life away. You're going to let Nani play the craps or the, uh, we call them things, craps you play. Or you play the card game. Or hell, I don't know, he might be on the slot machines. Because that's what I would be. I would be putting no more, no less than a $20 run on that slot machine. Just making it crank down, crank down, crank down. Maybe I get seven, seven, seven. Let's go! And my silk sonic voice. Or I could be doing those cherries. I don't know. The cherries, the lemons, the apples. I don't know. But I think they're supposed to be three to match for the win. But that's where I'd be. I'd be at the slot machines day in and day out. Okay. That's where I would be. But we need you to get your butt back home. Okay. Back in your luxury penthouse apartment in Bookhead and face the music. Nene Leaks. Okay. And I will see y'all next video. Bye bye.